Welcome everybody. Today I am sharing small home living ideas and hacks. I shared a couple weeks ago or a month or so ago why we chose to live in our 950 square foot home and um, how we are making that work with a family of four. And today I want to share with you some of the hacks and ideas that we use and implement to make this space feel larger and work well for our family. So first of all, less is more. So there's just a lot of ways to minimize the amount of clutter, the amount of things that you have in your home. The first is minimize surface clutter. So anytime you get up, <laughs> anytime you get up to leave a space, if you have something on the counter, go and put that back where it belongs if you're going to that room take a 15 minute break to declutter those surfaces or if you're baking cookies in the kitchen those 10 minutes to bake those cookies clear off your counter of some of the items that are there so that you can stick them in their homes and also with less is more we do not have a lot of toys for our two little kids we have a toddler and a newborn and so we try to keep it pretty minimal with limiting larger toys i know as they get older it'll be a little harder to have family not give them so many toys but we try to keep it to a minimum and ask for activities for kids to do and experiences instead of stuff and then with the idea of less is more continually decluttering is something that i do so every day i almost feel like I'm pulling something out of my drawer or something out of my kids' toy bin that we no longer need and no longer use. Because if it's just wasting space in our home, why not thrift or donate it to someone who would prefer to use it or try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or another online selling service um, just because it doesn't need to be in your home and it's just taking up some valuable real estate. Also, make sure you have a home for every item in your home. So if you have some sunglasses when you walk in the house, does it have a location you put it? If you have your cookbooks, do they belong in a certain place? If there's items in our home, if we don't know where to put them, are they supposed to be in our home? And yes, I know everybody has a junk drawer, but I really try to minimize our junk drawer. I go through that on a Oh, monthly basis to declutter that to make sure it is not overloaded and not overflowing with things that we really don't need in our home. So making sure decluttering happens in your home is a great way to maximize your small space of living. And I'm not a minimalist, not at all. I like my stuff. I like changing out seasonal decor, but I just think you can still declutter on a regular basis and still bring in nice stuff into your home and things um, on a seasonal rotation. All right, another thing I like to do in my home to maximize our space is use bins and use labels. Even in the fridge and our freezer, I have labeled the shelves. That way I know where everything goes. It has its spot. My husband now knows where things go. As my toddler gets older, she'll be able to help him put things away. In our linen closet, we have everything labeled. Medicine, um, towels, washcloths, hand towels, um, whatever else I have in the sheets. That way, everything has a spot so if something is in that location that shouldn't be again go find its home or declutter it if it's not supposed to be in that space and bins are a way for me to realize okay if it's overflowing maybe i don't need 10 washcloths to each his own though because we do have a larger family that comes to visit so i do need to have extra towels extra washcloths for guests that come and we have one linen closet where all of that is stored. So I can't have just four towels for our four people in our family. I need to have more like 10 towels for when I have nieces and nephews and my siblings and my husband's siblings come to stay with us. But anyways, back to the bins and labels. That really helps keep things streamlined as well and makes things know where they belong helps people know where those items belong. So I love my labels and I love my bins. Um, you need to get 
creative with your storage. So I have some thrifted picnic baskets. We put blankets in. I put some extra toys in the second one below that my daughter doesn't use at this moment or that I rotate out. And they're still a beautiful decor item, yet they are multifaceted with storing things. Um, things like having a cute little dresser in a living room, having a chest that our TV is on, putting stuff in there that you maybe get to once a year because your TV's on it. But using those things to store helps a lot as well. Make sure you maximize your space. So we have two bedrooms. In our bedroom, we have our daughter's bassinet and our bed and a rocking chair. And so we've just kind of rearranged our room to make it work for the space and the items that we need in it. Now this is just a season of life, so it's gonna change as our daughter moves in with her sister here in the future. But um, it is just what we need to do in our home to make it work at this time. Also, if you have an outdoor space, make that work and as, a, as an extension of your home. If you have a patio area for our two and a half seasons that we have good weather, we are outside a lot. And so we really make our outdoor space work for us. Yes, we do have a really nice big outdoor space. We have all that space that we can use to make um, an extension of our indoor space. So again, making all of these part of your living habits in a small space, if that's what you have, really helps make your space more workable for what you need. And I just love living in a small home. Less to clean, less charges on all of our bills. There's just lots of benefits. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box. And I'm sure there's plenty more um, hacks and ideas to living in a small space that I didn't even touch on. So leave them in the comments so that that way people can scroll through and read those as well. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will talk with you in the next one. Bye.